What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to the Mandroid Daily. I'm David, of course, your Mandroid host. How's your Tuesday treating you? Hopefully it's treating you great. Now time to talk a little bit about <clears throat> Android. Wasn't too much that happened today, but hey, let's chat anyways. All right, guys, you Verizon people, you, probably wondering where the F is your damn Nexus 6? You know how it is. I mean, the Nexus 6 was announced, what, like four months ago? And it was, it was verified by Google that it was going to be on all the four major carriers in the U.S. But of course, Verizon's always late to those reindeer games, man. They're always late to them. Because <laughs> they got their own line, they got the droid line, they figure they don't need. You know, it's Verizon. But if you actually go to their page right now and search the Nexus 6, you're going to see this little banner right there. Yeah, you're going to see coming soon Nexus 6. Sign up for updates. So it looks like it's coming soon. There's no there's no date on when they're gonna put it on their shelves, but uh, if, you know, once we find that out, we will definitely let you guys know. And it looks like leaked details emerged for the upcoming Lenovo Vibe Z3. And we got some image right here for you too. Not bad looking. Um, apparently, this thing's gonna be uh, it's gonna feature a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor, three gigabytes of RAM, a six inch. 2560 by 1440 resolution screen and a few other high-end specs so yeah it's definitely going to be a big beast it looks like it's going to be really long and if you want to see all the rest of the image uh images just check the link down below head over to the site there's about eh, six images there's like uh there's like bottom speakers for some reason very looks a lot like a you know just from far away the side and the bottom look like uh look like a big iphone yeah kind of does and then a roundup today, like I said, there's not that much that happened today. Radio Shack is in talks to sell half their stores to Sprint. Okay, that's one way to do it. I mean, I mean nowadays, like, electronic stores are just being, like, you know, they're, they're suffering, sadly, because, you know, because of online, because of Amazon, because of just ordering online. We're lazy. We're Soon we're all going to be in chairs, fat asses, like in Wally. But uh, currently, Radio Shack has just over 4,000 store locations, and there are discussions to come back with where you know, about 1,300 to 2,000 of them would be on the table. So they'd be, I guess, sold to Sprint. I don't know exactly what the deal is uh, going to be, but I don't know if they're going to still sell the products or is Radio Shack going to strictly sell online. Who knows? Very interesting, but that's all the Android news I wanted to talk about today. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you haven't already. And uh, subscribe to my other channel, too. It's down there. And visit AndroidSpin.com for your latest in Android news. Well, all right, guys. I am David, your Android host, and this has been the Android Daily. Talk to you later.